Hey, what's up? It's Neeks again. Follow my Instagram if you haven't already, at Neeks. In my previous video, I showed you how to stop the echo effect via the USB Mix Minus when you are on a Zoom call and for in-game chat while gaming while using the Rodecaster Pro. Now, I get to show you how to separate your Discord audio and assign it a level just like a real production studio. Unfortunately, 98% of people who viewed my videos weren't subscribed to my channel. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to support me a bit. The Rodecaster Pro is an impressive device. When I initially made the purchase for the Rodecaster Pro, I was a little hesitant. I wasn't sure if it had the settings I needed, but with its large full color touchscreen, constant updates to its firmware version, post-processing, Bluetooth, mute button, EQ presets, and so many more features at no extra cost, if you're interested in using the sound pads as a keyboard shortcuts, check out my most recent uh, Rodecaster Pro video in the corner, somewhere around here. Okay, so let's jump into things. Prepare the Rodecaster Pro. The first thing we want to do is make sure your firmware is up to date. To check what firmware you have, tap the gear wheel in the top left of the screen. Tap Advanced. Then tap Information. If you want to know how to update firmware, check this video out. Next, let's turn on the USB mix minus option. Tap the gear wheel in the upper left, tap advanced, tap audio, tap processing. The USB mix minus feature is turned to on. To learn more about this setting, check out the video here. In order to make this work, we need the Discord audio to be fed through a separate channel. You cannot use a simple aux cord for this. Instead, we need a cable called a TRRS to a TRRS cable. They do not cost a lot of money. These cables are typically used for microphones and cell phones. Places you can buy these are linked in the description down below. Order the cable from Amazon. I have it linked to the Amazon store. After you have the cable, you want to plug it into the mic output, but not any of the inputs that connects to your PC. If you're on a Mac or any computer, typically you can connect it into the headphones jack, take the other end of the cable and plug it into the cell phone jack on your Rodecaster Pro. That's half of the setup. Now for the Discord setup. We now need to set up the software and this is where it might get tricky depending on if you're on a Mac or PC. For PC users, what you wanna do is open up your settings, click on system, click sound. Under related settings to the right, click on sound control panel. Under the playback tab, Right click anywhere in the panel and make sure show disabled devices and show disconnected devices are check marked. For my computer, I have something called Realtek Digital Output. If it's not enabled already, do so now. Now, plug in the TRS cable into your line out from your computer and the other end into your Rodecaster Pro cell phone jack. So for Mac users, um, I can't show you a screen recording because I'm waiting for my MacBook Pro in the mail right now, but it's pretty much the same thing. But when I get that, I will post a separate video on this topic. Open up your system preferences, go to your audio settings and select the output labeled for headphones. And that's the only difference mainly for the setup on a Mac. So now that we have finished most of the hardware for PC and Mac, we're gonna go into Discord settings and uh, take care of some of the software. Uh, power up Discord and go to user settings. On the left-hand side under app settings, click on voice and video. Output device should be set to your headphone jack that you configured in your settings. In this case, it's Realtek digital output. You should now be able to hear the voice from Discord come through those inputs. Depending on your device, the audio quality may vary. If I raise the level too high, I can hear a buzz noise. If you guys have any suggestions on that, please let me know. Separating the channel inputs for Discord makes it perfect for bringing on remote guests. The Rodecaster Pro does have EQ presets for the phone jack inputs, such as none, phone call, speech, and music. They even have the Our Rule, Exciter, and the big bottom settings. Now, if you want to separate these inputs for the software, such as OBS or Streamlabs OBS, there will be just one extra step. When you're streaming in OBS, you have the ability to separate the channels between Discord and other channels as well. For this tutorial, we are only going to focus on the Discord channel with no compromise to audio quality. This gives you the ability to record any recordings directly to its own channel. It doesn't matter if you're on a PC or Mac. After setting up all the previous steps mentioned, power up your Streamlabs OBS. If you're using OBS, I'm sure it will be a similar setup. So for the Streamlabs OBS settings, add a new audio output capture. If you have the option to add a new source instead, make sure that is checked. It will pop up in the mixer window. 
If you are doing recordings, you will want to make sure you set your tracks. Simply go to settings, then go to output, select the recording tab, configure your audio tracks as needed, and then match them up in the mixer. Let me know if you want an in-depth video on using audio tracks and the different effects it has while recording in Streamlabs OBS. If you end up using different tracks while recording in OBS, the data will be recorded the same way. Giving you the ability to adjust the volume on each track, adjusting the audio levels on individual tracks is great for many situations. The data on these files are a bit heavier though. That sums up this tutorial for today. The Rodecaster Pro is an amazing device with multiple features. USB to USB-C input allows for recordings directly to computer and post-production. Phantom Power gives power to a microphone. You must use a Phantom Power mic though. The USB input is a direct link to the computer, a large full color touchscreen to help you configure the settings like noise gate, line in and outs, firmware, mic EQ setups, you can pair to Bluetooth, and much more. The onboard micro SD card slot allows you to take the recording to your audio into a post-production element. This device even takes in phone calls, has special EQs for not just one mic, but more than one Rode mic. It has four XLR inputs, the ability to hear each individual monitor for your headphones uh, according to your mic. Using a TRRS to a TRRS cable will stretch the abilities of this device even further, especially if you are a Zoom user or like to stream using OBS and you use Discord or multiple podcasts. I can't wait for future firmware versions to be released soon. Thank you guys for stopping by. Before you go, please sub to the channel. Don't miss my other Roadcaster Pro videos either. You can check them out in this playlist up above. For the gear, if you decide to purchase the cable or the Roadcaster Pro, feel free to use my links down below in the description. I make a small commission at no extra cost for you guys. Thank you guys. Catch you on the next one. Hey, what's up? It's me in the future. Um, I'm in the middle of editing the video right now, but I just wanted to throw this out there that if you guys have any suggestions for the Rodecaster Pro um, to make other videos, different topics, uh, if you guys have other questions or you want to see something more in depth, please let me know. Um, I'm down to make any videos pro revolving around this topic or anything else, you know, um, I need ideas and I want to create more videos for you guys and help you guys out. So, uh, drop a comment down below and just let me know if you have any ideas. Thanks guys.